Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're now listening to the Mind of an Antares Moon. I'm Nari Changer Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And we're going to talk about uh, motherfucking Pluto transits, because it's important to know where Pluto at. And first and foremost, hey, do not laugh at my motherfucking braids, y'all. Don't laugh at my motherfucking braids. Like, no, I don't know how to braid that good, but for the most part, I just do these in. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? Until I, until I get my motherfucking Medusas done by a female that I don't got to worry about her hands and shit like that and giving me fucking energies that I don't want and shit like that. You see what I'm saying? So for the most part, I was tired of wearing a goddamn hat. So, you know what I'm saying? I had to take matters in my own hands. And so for the most part, we're just going to call these the right brains. You know what I'm saying? The right brains. Because you know what I'm saying? We're going to the right. We're going to the right. Motherfuckers, two left brain. We're going to the right. <laughs> Flight boss of this motherfucker. All right, let's, now let's get into... um. Motherfucking um, Pluto transits. Now, here's what we need to talk about with Pluto transits, right? Now, Pluto is going to cause a big transformation in your life. So, that's what you do need to understand. So, wherever Pluto is at, it's going to cause a transformation. And I mean, where it's at, what house is placed in. That's going to be very important. So, that's why, look, P Pluto... It takes a very long time for it to move, you know what I'm saying, based upon our space and location. So, yeah, you got time to deal with it. <laughs> you got time to deal with it. So if you got like an area of life where every time you participate in that area of life, but you just keep finding yourself stumbling and falling, um, or someone playing a role blockage, or you just find yourself can't go, or you find yourself feeling the need to take power and control over the situation because it's overwhelming you in some way and it's transforming your state of mind and your state of being. Nine times out of ten, it's Pluto in, that, in a house. You know what I'm saying? So you need to pay attention to where Pluto at so you can kind of decipher like, oh, okay, it's coming from this house. You know what I'm saying? It might be dealing with home and family. That's the fourth house. It might be dealing, when you're, it might be dealing with when you're trying to creatively express yourself and, and be entertaining or just trying to have fun and enjoy yourself in general, right? You always witness a roadblock is there. You always witness somebody trying to take power and control over how you have fun and enjoy yourself. Nine times out of ten, you got Pluto on the motherfucking fifth house. You see what I'm saying? Uh, you know, power and control issues goes on within the, within the home with Pluto in the fourth house, Pluto in the sixth house, power and control issues within the uh, motherfucker work area and whatever you're working on. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta, you gotta pay very close attention to these things. Now, keep, keep this in motherfucking mind, right? Now, also when it's aligning with you, like as far as your sun, moon, Mercury, um, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Jupiter. Venus, Mars, for the most part, is going to transform those things too. Now, what are those things co um, compared to you? Your sun will be your actions, the way you act, how you see things, what you're consciously aware of. So if Pluto is aligning your sun at this period of time, then get prepared for your actions to be transformed. And it's going to be transforming throughout that whole period of time. So keep that in mind. It's going to be transforming through that whole period of time. So that's why it's important because... People, it's trying to, it's trying to force you to gain power and control over circumstances and situations and not let it overwhelm you. But if you don't, if you're not into flight astrology and you don't watch Archangel Uriel and then you don't even know about your, you don't watch no other astrologers and you don't know nothing about Pluto or whatever like that, then these type of scenarios could be going on in your life and you won't even know where to start to stop it. You know what I'm saying? Or you won't even know where to start to gain, start gaining power and control over your life. Now, let's get into certain alignments in general because, you know, it's this big misconception that just because it's a sextile or it's a trine or it's a conjunction, it automatically plays out in your favor. And that's not actually true. Just because the two planets is aligning compared to you, it depends on what two planets aligning. And that's going to decipher how the energies play out with you. So just because two planets is having sex doesn't mean that that energy play out favorable for you. For an example, you might got Mars... You might got Mars trying Saturn, right? Now, for the most part, you think it's a trine, so you think it's one of your gifts, but it's Mars trying in Saturn. So you got to think about it. Your intent, willpower, passions, and motivations is going to go all towards work, all towards stability, all towards how you see reality. So anytime somebody try to come change your reality or show you a different way of how to do things, you might get aggressive with them. You know what I'm saying? Or, or you might show your true alternative motives towards that person. So yeah, you got good gifts of taking all your passion to your goals and getting money, but a nine times out of 10, you got a gift to be uh, over aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Being disgruntled in the work area amongst everybody in the work area or being disgruntled in whatever you're trying to do amongst others. You see what I'm saying? Because you feel like you 
understand reality and gain structure in your life with all your passion. So when you don't see others do it in your same way, it, it becomes aggressive or opposing or competition like. So that's not necessarily a good gift. Really, they all could be good, bad or neutral. But I'm just trying to give you a, a perspective. And when we talk about Pluto, a lot of times it's going to play out on a negative end anyway. You see what I'm saying? So look, check this out. Now, look. Say you got Pluto. Uh, now, let's get into certain angles. Now, the conjunction, right? So if you got Pluto conjuncting running your planets, let's run down the planets. Your sun is how you act, your actions, how you see things and what you're consciously aware of and how you view things. You know, and your actions and what other people can see from you. That's your sun sign, right? Now, your moon, your moon is your state of being, who you are. You know what I'm saying? How you react and respond to the, the realm that you are in at the moment. You see what I'm saying? So it's like your mother, your womb. It's the energy signature you run towards to, in order to feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? So anytime somebody try to take you out of that state of being, you're going to get highly moody, highly uncomfortable because there it's a person trying to put you in a space and a location that you don't resonate with. Whether it's mentally or physically. You see what I'm saying? So um, that's what the moon represents. Mercury represents your intellect. The way you think. The way you communicate. The way you analyze. Mars represents your intent. Willpower. Passion. Motivation. Desires. Venus represents how you love. Appreciate. How you value. Uh, how you value things. The things that you're willing to compromise with in your life. Saturn is how you see reality and gain structure in your life. And where you place and receive boundaries and restrictions and limits. Jupiter is how you gain wisdom and knowledge and place and, and place new meanings and reasons behind these things. So ultimately, it's back to supported by experiences. Jupiter throw you in experiences, whether they're bad or good. But ultimately, it's good because without experiences, your mind wouldn't be able to expand. So this is where that expansion comes from with Jupiter. But what's allowing it to expand is when you go through experiences, you're able to extract wisdom and knowledge and place new meanings and reasons um, within these experiences. You see what I'm saying? So when we talk about... Pluto aligning with one of those, right? Now, the conjunction. Let's say Pluto is conjuncting one of these motherfuckers, right? So that means you have the power to transform yourself and transform others in that same arena. See, if it's the sun, you could transform other people's actions and the way they act and how they see things. If it's if it's um if it's a person's moon, you could uh, transform how a person react, their state of being, how they naturally are, make them feel comfortable with the way you get get down with certain things. You see what I'm saying? If it's um, if it's um, Mercury, you can find yourself transforming your own and other people's thought process, their intellect, the way they communicate. So people may start using your phrases, your your catchphrases and shit like that because because of that alignment at that time. So at that time, that's what's going to be transforming. But that's the alignment or the aspect in the way that it's going to transform. If it's a conjunction, if it's an opposition, then you're going to find yourself getting transformed by outer external people, places and things. So every every person, place or thing throughout that whole year is, is going to be tr uh, transforming you to a certain degree. So keep that in mind also. And you're going to have to learn how to either get with it or learn how to cut people off and take power, take back power and control over your own life or over your own star, whatever star is aligning to Pluto at that time. And what kind of alignment is it? You might have to take power, take back power and control over the way you love and appreciate and value and relate to because someone else was taking advantage of it, a.k.a. because Pluto was aligning your Venus. Now, let's talk about it as it being a square. This is a learning process. So for the most part, if you got Pluto squaring one of your stars, then that means that Pluto is going to take you through a transformation of learning so you know you could if you participate too roughly it could end up being an opposition type of energy but if you just play your part and tip and tapper you could be able to learn how to trine it learn how to sextile it you know what i'm saying and and learn how to oppose it also and learn how to balance it and learn how to use it for your power as a conjunction so the square is a learning process see people get it fucked up really the square is more powerful than all of them See, that's, that's shit that, that's, that shit y'all don't think about. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the sextile. Fuck the trine. Nigga, fuck the opposition. Fuck the conjunction. Nigga, if you got a chart full of motherfucking squares, you the goddamn shit. Now, you might have went through your life learning and stumbling and having misunderstandings and, and misconcepts and, and contradicting yourself. But once you get, the, once you get all that shit together, goddamn it, you the motherfucking shit. Cause they, we, and we in this life to learn and the square is a learning process. So I don't know who the fuck told you anything else. The square is the most powerful motherfucking alignment. Believe that nigga, cherish that if you got uh, a square. Now, when we talk about, um, the sextile, now if it's sextiling, Pluto is going to create an opportunity. So opportunities is not always walk through. You don't always see your opportunities based upon your own alignment. You may 
Look at something like it's scary because it's dealing with your north node and, and it's unfamiliar energy. So you might be like, oh, no, nah, that ain't something I'm supposed to be doing. But for the most part, you need to understand that um, Pluto, uh, the, the sextiles create opportunity. So you may not always necessarily jump on that opportunity, but it's gonna if you got sextiles in your chart, it's, you always going to see opportunities between those two alignments and however the spectrum is playing out. So if you got Pluto sextile in one of your alignments, you all, you're going to find opportunities to transform. You might find opportunities to opportunities to transform someone else or you or you stumble across opportunities for someone else or a person place or thing to transform you in some way shape or form but transformation and power and control is going on with this goddamn pluto i'm telling you now when we talk about uh um the trine you have a gift so you have the gift of constantly going through transformations whatever stars align in it you see what i'm saying you got you just constantly stump so say pluto is transforming um your wisdom and knowledge, your meanings and reasons and your experiences in your life, a.k.a. your Jupiter, right? So for the most part, what what happened here is, um, what happened here is Pluto, you you end up having a gift of constantly going through transformations. So even bad scenarios, good scenarios, you just can't stop it. You've got that natural gift of having bad luck. So you got to learn that, know that's what you're Pluto, and then once you start to get into astrology, you start to know uh, when to actually be out and about and when these influences are going to be as strong and when to align yourself and when not to align yourself with until that transit pass. You know what I'm saying? And you'll end up putting yourself in a better situation overall. Now, let's talk about... Uh, okay, that was a say That was a try. Let's get into the houses. Let's talk about the houses real quick because I'm going to run these down because I got to hurry up throughout this video because I'm in the middle of a whole bunch of people... NATO readings and shit. So, I, you know what I'm saying? Um, now, for the most part... Um, Getting into motherfucking the first house. If you got Pluto in the first house, your personality will be transformed <laughs> in some way, shape, or form. Your appearance, how people are aware of you, your personal issues, personal issues that you had before, you ain't gonna have now. All that's being transformed. Um, um, this light is too fucking bright right here. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I almost had to put on my fucking glasses. All right. Personal issues. Personal, uh, your personal issues and your personal affairs. So the people that you personally mix and mingle with, these things change. Um, things change. Um, um, the, the circumstance and the situation that you personally manifested in your life. So, you know, like the personal stores you used to go to, your person, the personal job, the, 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 uh, personal personalities in your life, these personal people that you have personally in your life. These things go through transformations, right? So you, you not be, you don't be personally concluded with certain people that you was before. So keep that in mind. Uh, Pluto in the second house, your values and the people, places and things and the jobs and the resources that you value is going to transform in some way. And what you have to offer to the world and wherever you be planting seeds at, all that is going to trans, um, all that is going to transform. You want to find yourself trying to take power and control or being took or being took in power and control over in the, in this house. Pardon me. Pluto or the third house. If it's transiting your third house, right? At that that year or whatever like that, that transit, you're going to experience a big transformation in your surroundings, right? And everything that's in your close proximities. Also dealing with things that you're familiar with. All things you're familiar with. If it's unfamiliar, I'm not talking about it. If you're familiar with it, it goes into your third house. That's going to switch up. You may have had a talent, a gift, a trait, people that you was familiar with. That All that's going to transform and you're going to have to uh, get to get familiar with new shit. You know what I'm saying? Because that's going to overwhelm you and you're going to have to take power and control over that area. And the way you take power and control over it is just having to get familiar with new shit. Fourth house, Pluto in the fourth house is going to transform your home, family, private, domestic issues in some way, shape or form. Um, your privacy. And you're going to have to, it's going to force you to have to take and gain power and control over this area of life in some way. Um, fifth house, your creativity, uh, your imagination. Um, not, not so much, but yeah, your creativity and the way you express yourself and how you have fun and enjoy yourself. That's going to transform. So what was fun before, not going to be fun after that year. Believe me, what would you shit you was indulging in made this make you realize? Oh shit, I don't never want to do that shit again. Um, Pluto in the sixth house, big transformation within, within work, whatever you're working on, your health, scheduling, routine, stuff that you that had on a day to day task, your ability to criticize and look at the details of things. <coughs> All that is going through a transformation. <coughs> also, when we talk about um motherfucking um. 
Seventh house, your relationships and how you relate to people, places, and things. All that is going to transform. So keep that in mind also. All that is going to transform. Your relationships and how you relate to people, places, and things. Your eighth house, oh, it likes this. Your own desires, your passions, motivations, and pleasures, and shit like that, and shit you indulge in. That's going to transform. So that's always for the good. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not being took out on anyone else. It's being took out on the self. So Pluto likes to be in the first and the eighth house, believe it or not. Mainly the eighth house. Especially the eighth house. Ninth house. Um, ninth house, your, your education, things you have learned, your wisdom, knowledge. Meanings, reasonings, your broad philosophical points of views of looking at the world, spirituality, and God, astrology, occult, mysticism, all these things is going to transform. You're going to have a new way of looking at these things and have to gain power and control over it, or someone going to try to gain power and control over your aspect of looking at this realm. Tenth house, how you are seen, what you're known for, your status, your career, um, and, um, yeah, what ultimately can become your career and your popularity level and what you're known for, um, your status. This is going to be going through a transformation. You may even have people throwing bad dirt, bad, uh, throwing dirt on your name and shit like that. And, and, and um, on social media and shit, broadcasting, putting you in a bad light. Or you may be doing things to put yourself in a bad light based upon bad, bad career decisions and things of that nature. But you're going to have to gain power and control over that area of life. That's what uh, Pluto is trying to let you do. Um, when it's in the 10th house, 11th house, associates, th organizations, uh, things you are associated with, the location of a lot of places that you like to go, uh, family, friends, but from a, a distant type of um, aspect of it. So like the associate family, not the immediate within the house home, um, the ones that's in the neighborhood or, or across town. Um, also talking about um, the unknown, which it will be science, astrology, occult, mysticism, technology. You know what I'm saying? How you conduct yourself in the public arena. Um all that is going through a transformation. Even how you receive public gains and things that's dealing with your business. All that is going through a big transformation when you got Pluto transit in your 11th house. And then last but not least, the 12th house. Um, now, the 12th house... Um, um, now, this is your subconscious realm. So it's dealing with your dreams, illusions, creativity, imagination, your inner music, your internal realm, your yin, your ability to connect with the collective conscious. So if you got Pluto here, all that is transforming. Dreams that you had before, you don't got them no more. You got new dreams. That's transforming. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, imaginations, creativity, um, subconscious realm, things you used to daydream about before, you, that's transforming. You do not, you're not long, you no longer daydreaming about them same things. You see what I'm saying? So all that's going through a big transformation through Throughout this time, you may even get frustrated with being alone a lot of times with Pluto in the 12th house. You might want to be around others and shit like that because being alone will take you through a deep frustration to the point that you'll feel like you're unaware. Like Pluto play tricky, you know what I'm saying? Pluto tricky as fuck. But yeah, let me get back to motherfucking work though. But I, you know, I, I still got to drop a video, you know what I'm saying? I'll be having that shit. Like I'll be doing people NATO regions. I'll be like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Let me drop this, let me drop this. So, flight boss, bitch, goddamn, air, ee, you know, for sure. Goddamn.